Hi, I'm Jack Lucas, finalist of MasterChef 2014, and welcome to my new series. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to make a super simple but really speedy Mexican fajitas with guacamole. So, the first thing that I'm going to do is use beef. So, I've got a lovely sirloin steak here, but any old steak that you'd use and, and eat on its own would be perfect in this. So, I'm just going to slice it into some nice chunks. Add some oil into a pan and ensure that it's really smoking hot. Whenever you want to cook beef, especially when you're frying it, you want to make sure that it's really hot so you get a lovely caramelisation. If it's not sizzling when it goes into the pan, just take it out. So, pop this in. Now the key at this stage is not to touch it and don't stir it around. Allow it to caramelise and get some lovely colour. Into that beef, I'm just going to add a little bit of paprika and a little bit of ground cumin, about half as much, and some seasoning, just so salt and pepper. After about 45 seconds or so, give it a little stir, leave it for another 30 seconds and then remove it. At this point, the beef isn't going to be fully cooked, but it will cook when it goes back in with the peppers. Now it's really, really important that you don't cook it all in one go, because if you do, you're going to end up with beef that's overcooked, and that happens so often with chicken when it's made in fajitas. So leave that to one side. Like I say, it's still slightly undercooked, but now we're going to fry off some of the other key ingredients. So a little bit more oil into the pan, and into that, I'm going to add in one red pepper and one yellow pepper, and one finely sliced red onion. Again, season with salt and pepper, one teaspoon of paprika, and half of ground cumin. Now leave these just to fry gently for a couple of minutes until they've gone soft and translucent. Whilst the peppers and the onions cook, it's time to make the accompaniments. You can't have fajitas without guacamole and it really is so simple to make. Simply crush together two avocados, add in the juice of one whole lime which will prevent it from going brown, and half a red onion finely diced, followed by four chopped tomatoes, a handful of chopped coriander, a finely sliced chilli, and season with plenty of salt and pepper before setting to one side. Right, so now that these onions and peppers are really lovely and caramelised, it's time to add back in the steak and all the cooking juices. A couple of chopped tomatoes. And I like to add in a squeeze of lime as well. Now for the full recipe, you can head to the website. And also, if you do make this, it'd be great to see your creations. So give this a little turn. A bit of a toss. Leave it for another minute or so and that is it, you are ready. Just going to add in some chopped coriander and this dish is done. All that's left to do now is to assemble and get stuck in. So, I'm going to grab a slightly warm tortilla, some lovely sour cream, our amazing but simple guacamole and of course the beef fajita mix. Now the last thing that I'm going to top this off with is a bit of cheddar. Now you could use any cheddar you've got at home, but I'm using smoked cheddar. Now to stop this being a bit of a disaster and going everywhere, if you fold in the sides and then roll it up, then it, you'll avoid it all coming out of the end. And this, this is for me. So all that's left for me now is to get stuck in. I'll see you next time.